Oh, and we are live. That's right. Dungeon Crate live today. Why not? Let's see if I can pull this up here and see what's going on. Kind of a little last minute live, you might say. It's the end of the year. And, uh, well, I thought that we've got fun stuff happening every weekend here at Dungeon Creek Curios, uh, our store right here in Benson. I'm going to go on here and see if we can find this and share it and things like that. Just to let you know what's going on. Hello, Brian. Good to see you. Good to see you. We've got a game group downstairs happening. Every weekend we open up our doors to anybody that wants to game. We've got three game tables. Uh, even more if we needed them. But, uh, yeah, they're right down there, down there, uh, gaming as we speak. Let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on here and see if I can share this little video with our Adventurers Guild. Jerry Ship Jr., good to see you, my friend. Hello, hello. Yes. Oh, there we go. We are live. I'm going to share this um, to a group. I need my, you and I, it's all on here. Oh, here we go. Share to a group. Mm hmm. No, it doesn't say share to a group. Oh, because I'm sharing. I'm not going as me. Now we will. All right, so anyways, I'm going to take you around the dungeon a bit, show you some of the new stuff that we've got going on, uh, some fun stuff that we've got coming up that we're scheduling uh, for classes, workshops, and things like that. Let me move this up here. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry to hear that you've been sick. That's too bad. We have got, all right, yeah, we are open today until five. Here we go, now I can share this to the Adventurers Guild. Share to a group. There we go. All right. So, uh, I am here at Dungeon Crate Curios. This is the store. I can give you a little tour here. I haven't done that for a while, but we are open as you can see. This is the last day of the year. Uh, very excited about New Year's Eve, also excited about New Year's Day. And uh, tomorrow on New Year's Day, the first day of 2023, oh wow, we could do like 23% off everything in the store, right? Or 22% off if we want to say goodbye to next year, or last year, this coming past year, yes. But anyways, I want to give you a little little look-see, little look around as to what we've got going on here. I don't know if uh, everybody has seen the thing. Oh, hello there. My mom's on here. Oh, hello, mom. I'm going to turn this around so everybody can get a little shot of what's happening. All right. Oh, yeah. There's our, here's our in-house great worm. This is Rolo. Oh, he's found the plant. Hopefully he doesn't destroy it and uh, whatnot. There's our other worm, our dragon. But yes, fun stuff here. We've got t-shirts here from Tea Gravy. Uh, this is a local friend of mine who does this. They've got a great uh, web store as well. You can check out some fun t-shirts here that we've got in various sizes. Oh, yeah, T-Rex of Nebraska. And uh, oh, yeah, some of the new stuff we've got, these fun dice. These are dice, believe it or not. Check those out. Oh, yeah. And some new blood splatter, acrylic blood splatter dice. These are locally made. Anne-Marie, she works with us here. This has got a, all of these have D20s in them, but they are little necklaces that you can put rocks or your special dice crocheted by her. And we've, of course, got some more coinage. Sold out of most of our coinage, so I had to get some more in for sure. Oh, and the tavern's up. We're looking good in the tavern here. We had it all set up for stuff. Lori made all of the food in here. So teeny tiny foods. You can see. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it look tasty? Oh, yeah. Captain's quarters, captain's lounge, yes. And, of course, a really teeny tiny player's handbook. <laughs> so, what else do we have going on? Death save counters with a case, which are fun. Lots of hit point counters here. More weird dice sets. This one has all sorts of strange dice in it. 
and the metal bloody dice. Got those as well. And elf ears, yay, elf ears. And still, a lot of the things. We've got animals up for adoption here. You can take home your very own rust monster. Oh, yeah. Snacks, we have candy. You're going to have candy. Keep track of your adventure with our notebooks and notepads that we've got. All sorts of things like that. Initiative trackers. Those are super handy. Regular pads there. Books, of course. Starter sets and all sorts of modules and adventures. Don't forget the minis. We have have a plethora of minis lots of minis oh these ones we've got some from arc night games we've got random ones Rawr. check those out those are fun and of course a whole line of reaper bones minis all here for you now talking more dice we've got little sets that we put adventures together with some dice we've also got some uh, dice trays here. Of course, you're going to want these if you got metal dice and you were playing on a video screen table, much like this one. We've also got video screen tables, two of them down here. If you haven't seen yet, I'm still trying to get a computer to where I can actually have them on and show them in play, but these tables here are made locally and they have video screens already in them. Old school dice. Look at these fun things. We have lots of them that have different things in them. Santa heads, ducks with Santa hats, panda bears, all the things for the dice goblin we've got triple fours we've got double sixes oh yeah giant dice chunks lots of mimic dice too we've got a bunch of these as well as stuff for the dice goblins la, 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 la. all the dice that's right Dragon duckies, puzzles of Halcyon, and swords. That's right. These are pretty cool. You can actually probably have a decent little sword fight with these. But those are fun from Cuts and Burns, Bones Dice, and we still have a lot of these. This is all available on our online store. If you want to go there, check it out. We just added a bunch of stuff. And uh, you, if you're local and you are around, you can set it for Saturday pickup so you can avoid shipping. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. So, that's our adventures. We have so many adventures. I have a few more things that uh, may not have known we had. These great Thor hammer pendants. Resin dice box. Tiny mini forged swords. More bloody dice. Wands that are pencils. Branches that are pens. Mm -hmm. Earrings. My mom helped me make some of these. Oh, Amory made some of these too. More dice in dice. We've got lots of these hangers too. We had these as ornaments. Another up here. And here's a little tour of the back. Uh, this is our workshop area. We've got a, an area here that we can use for uh, classes. So I've got all the paints, all the brushes, foam, all the materials, all the uh, well, just the, the different types of flocking and terrain that you can use to make stuff. One of the classes that we did, we made this. And this was just uh, made out of foam and cardboard and the stuff we have here. This class was free. You just had to show up, and I gave you everything you needed to do to, to take this home and make it. So we're going to have more classes back here, and we've got the whole downstairs game room uh, that people are playing in right now. So we won't go down there and bother them. But, uh, yes, we have a full table, and I'll show you a little bit more about that here in a, in a bit, uh, just so that you'll be able to see. If you have a game or if you have a group... If you've got a group that you want, uh, that you need a, a game room to play in, well, you can play here at Dungeon Crate if we don't have anybody here. It looks like we've got a standing Sunday game going on, and then every other Saturday, uh, like today, we've got a, a group downstairs that is also a game again. And sometimes they're looking for new players, but also if you just happen to have a, a group that you just don't have a place to play, or you want a different place to play, maybe something that's more spacious, uh, we've got the downstairs available to you as well. And this could be a, uh, also we've got a full... Full commercial bathrooms downstairs, uh, a little kitchenette down there too with a fridge so that you can easily uh, bring 
some stuff and I've always got uh, some stuff on hand and snacks and whatnot for you to play to eat while you're playing but yeah uh, fun stuff and we're gonna hopefully be going um, see a few classes that we got scheduled or planning to schedule coming up of course will be the character build days you do a character build and then we do a little one shot that's usually about two to three hours we do and then we'll do dungeon club where we'll have three tables so a good uh, maybe about you know 15 to 20 people can play and um we've got we'll have that signups for that and that's also a free event uh with donations uh, going to the dungeon masters that are running it and then we'll have things like terrain building classes map drawing classes i want to show you how to make some different types of terrain but also how to you know create your own maps and things like that we'll have those classes kind of going on as well uh, we've got uh a few ideas for some other things. If you've got some ideas, feel free to hit us up on socials and or send us an email and let me know. If you have a game, if you're a dungeon master and you want to host a game uh, and you just want to have a place to do it, you can do it here. And let's get some people in for you. Just uh, hit me up and let me know. It's right here. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks. Thank you very much. Who was that? Yay. Yeah, the storefront's, uh, the store is, is coming along. It's been a fun project to have the last few months here. We have not been open as a retail store very long, and already people are thoroughly enjoying this place. I am trying to make this not a game store, because I don't want to compete with people like uh, Game Shop and uh, you know Dragon's Lair and places like that that have a long-standing history of uh, games and comics here in Omaha. Uh, but what I'd like to be is mainly that in-between place where you can come and get the weird sets of dice, locally made things, used books, uh, just all the other, other other things and then you can go they also have like game shop also has great places to play uh, So there's a lot of places here. So I kind of want to I don't know Just be a little bit uh, a little bit different more of an accessory store you might say curio store, right? That's what we are So yeah, uh, that's the that's the dungeon and uh, so far Like I said people are thoroughly enjoying it uh they, I kind of get the answer I, I want when I when people come in here and they're just freaking out a little bit and they're like, oh my gosh, you have all these things uh, that they weren't expecting to have, and that's kind of that's kind of the point. Um, I want to find things and curate this shop, uh, so you never know what you're going to expect each each weekend you come in here. And right now we are open Fridays from three to seven, Saturdays and Sundays from noon to five, and I think we're going to be planning on expanding our hours coming into spring. I'm assuming. Uh, where we can open up on Thursday evenings as well. We'll see about how late we want to go, depending on if people have games, if they want to schedule games during the week. That would be fun too. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite the pleasure to purchase a bunch of things that we couldn't fit into the crate uh, and have them available here, just uh, as a, you know, available to you for, for just coming in. And nobody leaves here without something. I guarantee you that. And you can ask anybody that has been here. Uh, that they do not leave with nothing because also we do have the uh, the dice tower of power. You come in here and you roll the dice and you always get some prizes and whatnot to leave just to kind of get you all excited about stuff. So uh, that's always fun. So today we're just kind of hanging out and uh, kind of, you know, this is the time when we kind of look back on the year and kind of reflect, find out uh, what are some of the things that we've done in the past that have worked, what haven't worked. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do with this store? What do we want to do with the crate? All that kind of good jazz. So that's what I'm kind of doing today and tomorrow. And uh, thanks for everybody, to everybody who's watching this, who's been a, who's coming to the store, who's been a member of uh, Dungeon Crate. Uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for supporting us and being a part of our little nerdy family over here. Uh, we've we put a lot into the crate every month, and uh, you know, and we're hoping people like it. At least, I mean, we may not get it to where you like every single crate. But we are working hard to make sure that we give people fun stuff uh, and allow us, you know, at a price that works for you and also that keeps us in business and keeps our doors open, lights on, things like that. Uh, but every single module we write in-house, uh, we have only a very, we have a small handful of writers that we use. Um, and our artist, Matt from Dungeon Doodles, does all of the artwork every single month and he has for years. So uh, that's all. You know a big part of what we do and a lot of the effort that we put into our our materials and the things uh, we work with a lot of uh, local makers too when we can all the cut and cut and etched stuff laser cut and etched stuff that, that have been going into the crate lately uh, has been from cuts and burns he's a friend of ours out from uh, red oak i believe is where he lives 
but he does things like this, which we have available. Awesome fooled on dice boxes. Of course, those swords, hit point counters, this huge double bladed ax, and we've got shields in house, which are fun. Small boats and wands, things like that. And again, those are local as well. Hey, thanks. So yeah, we've, uh, you know, coming into the new year. Where do you want to go? What do we want to do? If you have suggestions for things you want to see in our crates, let us know. Because, you know, after a while, after seven years of doing this, uh, you know, sometimes it gets, it gets interesting trying to come up with new things to put in the crate. So you'll see double minis one month or two or three different adventures going in there. Uh, we've got some adventures from the past that we've got a lot of new uh, subscribers that we're just throwing those in as bonuses too, uh, physical ones. So yeah, really trying to beef that up and, and just kind of make sure that everybody is, is happy with their monthly subscription as well as uh, whenever they come into the store, you find something new that you haven't seen before or you, uh, you finally get to pick up that batch of minis or, or give a, a stuffed rust monster a forever home. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, once again, thanks again for the support over the past year. And uh, I hope everybody has a fruitful and adventurous new year. So uh, if you are in the local area, feel free to stop on by. I have some treasures for you to see. And uh, if you are online, check out our online store. We're adding stuff up there every day. We're really trying to make a, our online store something a little bit different and something that um, everybody's going to find new things as they go in. And, and uh, if you're local, again, you can order online and get a Saturday pickup as well so you can avoid the shipping. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with the Dungeon Crate All Gear. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got, really. Except for tomorrow's sale, we do have a 22% off or 23% off. I don't know which one I want to do, but it's going to be something like that all day long tomorrow on Sunday. Of course, I'm not going to be here in the shop. I'm taking the day off, but uh, shop will be open, so you could do that. Yes. All right. So anyway, let's see here. Thanks for checking it out. Oh, do I have glasses? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get here, I want to read some of your replies here. All right. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Justin and Mason, I'll bet you still have one of the first boxes. And I remember your photo from the Instagrammies. I do want to bring back the Instagrammies. We used to give out full on trophies and whatnot for the Instagrammies. Jexa was a big part of that. She left us and we just kind of had COVID. And so we, just, nobody was getting together. And But now I think Things will be a little bit different. I think we can run an Instagrammies this year, and uh, that would be fun. And we get to post pictures. People get to vote on them. We got full trophies that we give out. Yeah. It's pretty fun. So, all right, you guys. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. <laughs> nice. All right, well, I hope to do some more lives uh, here in the future. Kind of less than just showing you everything that we got, unless we get fun new stuff. And mainly our new stuff is the dice this time. But I'll touch base with you and do some more lives, give you a little update on some of the new stuff that we got going on, and if we have classes while we have classes. So if you guys dig that, awesome. Uh, in the meantime, again, you guys have a wonderful new year. Have a safe New Year's Eve, and uh, enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy that, that new day. Let's make some plans, some goals for 2023. They're going to rock. Be awesome adventures. Get more gaming in, get more, be more creative, do whatever you need to do. But uh, have a wonderful start of your year, and I'll see you next time on Dungeon Crate Live. Take it easy. Oh, by the way, 6404 Maple Street. That's where the curio shop is in Omaha.